Welcome to the order page. There are so many actions that you can perform to individual orders. So you're really going to want to spend some time exploring this top row up here. Now, before we get to that, I want to actually take you to the bottom of the page. At the bottom, you're going to see this history section, which is going to populate as this order changes. For example, if I change this status, it's going to show who changed the status and when right down here in the history section, which is really helpful to have this audit trail to see how an order went through its process. Now from here, you can request payment from a customer, which you can do either by even text message now, email or none. You can add expenses. If they write you a check or drop by, you can add a payment from here too, of which we also sync up with Square so that for in-person payments, they're automatically applied. For messages, you're gonna to wanna to be able to communicate with your customer and keep that conversation very centrally organized right here in Printavo. So you can be able to message them here. Then under tasks, you can manually create tasks or create preset tasks. Preset tasks are a group of tasks that you can be able to apply to an order. And you can set that up under my account. Then on the right hand side, you've got all of your statuses. Now remember, statuses are your workflow statuses. This is how you keep track of every single order. And this is completely customizable. So you can make it more complex or less complex based on how you guys work in your shop. And then on the far right are more actions. Under that, you can manually approve an order. You can view the public invoice, you can view the work order, and you even have public views of that work order too. You've got packing slips, box labels, which are scannable with a barcode scanner. So you will stick this on a four by six label and put this on all of your boxes and that can be scanned to pull up the contents of the box. And it's also nice to sign out the box when you've counted out for QA. From here, you can also create shipping labels, mark lines as need ordering, which goes into purchase orders, duplicate this job in one click, go to the customer, and delete it.